Let me show you how to sell products right from ConvertKit. This is great. You can sell anything like online courses, coaching, digital downloads. The way you do that is just you log in into your ConvertKit account, go to products, and we're going to create a new product. And you're going to give it a name. In my case, I'm going to pretend to be selling the instructions for my Lego dunking machine. You're going to select a pricing method, standard or subscription. I'm going to charge $19.99 for it. Next. And then fulfillment. You have three options, digital download, newsletter, or something else. And uh, digital download is going to ask you to upload a file. So we're going to do that. We're going to upload a file are going to be the instructions. Once it's uploaded, click next. The next step is to select a page URL. This is where people will go and purchase your product. Let me make it shorter than that. And then you create your product. Now we're going to customize the sales page for this product. We can give a description here and we can upload a picture. I already have a picture here. And once you're happy, just click save. Now on the checkout page, you can see if everything looks good. You can change the colors as well. Confirmation email. I'm going to make sure that there's a confirmation email here. I can edit it. Now I can change the receipt email that buyers are going to get and click save. Now I can publish it and I can send people to this URL and people can start buying my instructions right away. So that's how fast it is. Now you want to make sure that you have enabled payments if you haven't done so already. You can do that when you create a product for the first time, you'll be taken to this page. You are going to click on set up payments and then it will guide you through the process of setting up payments using Stripe. It takes a couple of minutes. And once you've done that, you can start collecting payments. Now, the great thing is because you are selling through ConvertKit, you can set up an automatic follow up sequence with ConvertKit as well. And this is great to follow up with your buyers to make sure that they're happy with your products. And the way you do that is very simple. You go to automations and then click on sequence. You're going to create a new sequence and you create a sequence and you'll have the first email here already populated by default, but we're going to just call it feedback. We're going to collect feedback uh, a week after they purchase the product. So you're just going to uh, change the context of your email. In this case, I'm just going to uh, ask for feedback one week after they purchase the product. So the way I do that, I set this to seven days. There you go. And I can select whether I want to, whether I want to skip any days. Maybe I, I don't want to send follow up emails on Saturdays and Sundays. Great. And now I have to make sure that this email gets sent automatically when somebody purchased the product. So I'm going to save this sequence, save all. And then I have to go to automations and create a new automation that is going to get started when somebody makes a purchase. And in this case, I have a product. I go to commerce and I'm going to select this one, Dunky Lego Cookie Dunking Instructions, add event. And as soon as somebody buys the instructions or my coaching or my courses or whatever it is, a subscription, it's going to trigger this automation and I click the plus button to add them to a sequence. Here I'm going to select action and then email sequence. And I'm going to select that sequence, which is the product follow-up, which is going to submit that follow-up email seven days after they make the purchase. Add action. And that's it. Anytime somebody buys my instructions seven days after the purchase, they would get an email automatically asking them for feedback. And that's how simple it is to create and sell products right from ConvertKit. If you want to learn how to sell products using a tool called Gumroad, click here. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.